So today we're here with Kobe and he needs to learn how to not nip at the kids when he's playing. So just like any other game that the kids might have, we want to um, make sure that we have good rules for him when he's playing games with the kids, which means that he can play fetch and he can play with them. They're gonna toss the ball back and forth between each other, but he's not allowed to jump on them and to try to nip at them. And when they drop the ball, he's going to try to get it and then they're gonna use a treat to put by his nose and when he drops it, they're gonna say drop, give him the treat and then they're going to pick up the ball and keep playing. This is gonna teach him that he can play with the kids but he's not allowed to nip and chase them and do things like that. So you guys can start playing, okay? Good. Grab a treat. Perfect, that was awesome. Good job, guys. Okay, go back to playing again. Drop. Remember, wait for him to drop it already. Put the treat closer to his nose if he's not doing it. Drop. Perfect, good job, guys. Let's go back to playing again. You guys are doing awesome. Let him go get the ball, perfect. Call him over, say drop. Good, awesome. So do you know what you also got him to start doing in that time period? You're able to have him almost go and fetch the ball, bring it back, and then drop it, which is exactly how you're gonna transition him into playing fetch. You guys wanna play a little bit more before we wrap this up? Great, so that was perfect. You guys are doing an awesome job. Don't forget to drop it at some point. <laughs> okay, grab a treat, call him over, Kobe, say his name. Drop it. Perfect, good job. So an uh, um, important part here will be getting him to the point where, see if you can toss it back and forth before we end this, and then toss it over that way. Toss it down towards the front door so he'll go and chase it, and then call his name. So toss it back and forth to get him interested. And then when he goes after the ball, he picks it up. I want you to call him back and then say drop it when he comes back, okay? So go ahead. I don't think, does he have it? Go ahead. Drop it. No, I'm not. You're supposed to put that there you go. to him and let him. There you go, perfect. Okay, let's try to Good. give him a little option. Yeah. Okay, do you guys still have a treat for him if he yeah, does I've come back? Okay. So let him go get it. Then when he comes back, call his name now, not once he gets it. Good. He's anticipating, but that was really good, guys. That was perfect. All right, this is instructed. that was that was really good. Can we though. try That's, without the treat, maybe? Um, not yet. So okay. we want to wait a while so he gets to the point where he's dropping it really reliably and then tossing the treat. Uh, the ball will be his new reward, but we should probably be giving him treats for at least the next couple of days to make sure that he's built up a really good, strong foundation so he's fully prepared to always drop the ball reliably. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome.